Okay, we're connected up and everything. So this is the HDC of August 22nd. And we are meeting with here in person and on Zoom. The uh, This is required by the state, the governor. And I don't have the official papers, but I'm sure you've heard it many, many times. So you know, it, uh, if people want to speak, please give them your name and uh, wait to be called to speak. Do not speak when somebody else is speaking, let each person have their time to speak. We're going to try not to have it repeated a lot, but we'll see, we have a little time today, so it uh, should be good. So that's that's what's going on as far as oh, op opening the- Carrie's raised her hand. Carrie, you're here. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. So, um, I'm sorry to interrupt. I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, I'm here as an attendee to present something later. I'm in the midst of some pretty big eye surgeries and I can't, I have one eye and probably next week I might be out of commission completely. Um, so I just wanted to tell you that. What's the matter? Are you going to be okay? Uh, I sure hope so. <laughs> Um, well, thank you. And thank you for turning up. It's going to be a few weeks for sure. Um, but I still have some projects that are coming up to you. So I don't want to miss out for my clients. Um, and I'm sorry, I can't be there to do my oh, job. Understandable, my goodness. Yeah. So you're not sitting on anything is what you're saying. No, not okay. for a while, I think. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Madam Chair. Yes. Since we have Abby in Zoom and obviously she's participating as commissioner, you'll do have to do roll call. Okay. So um, Val, are you here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hi. Joe Paul. Yes. Hi. Hi. Kelly, are you here also? Here. And Abby, you here? I'm here. And I'm here. So, so there we go. Um, we have the agenda here. Oh, let me get it. And um, are there any deletions that we don't have? Madam, Madam Chair, um, yeah. on the old business agenda, uh, bear with me, I'm trying to pull up the agenda. <laughs> on the old business? All right, yep, give me one second, please. Old business items. One and two per the one, two, and six per the applicant's request uh, to be held until next week. Okay. And anything else? Lincoln Ave. Link four. Ten Lincoln? Yeah. Oh, and number four as well. Ten Lincoln Ave? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So one, two. Four and six will be removed from old business. Uh, but I make that motion, Madam Chair. Thank you. Let's have a motion approving the agenda. So moved. Thank you. Uh, Connie? Aye. Joe? Aye. Abby? Aye. Val? Aye. And I'm an aye. And um, so we should start with fines. 
Do we have a sign first? That'd be me. That the one. sign council met this morning and per their recommendations, item number one, they were to approve with the condition that the sign be placed same location as previous uh, signed. Okay. okay. Motion to approve for sign advisory recommendations. Okay, that's uh, both the projection sign and the window sign? No, that was just number, oh yes, both. Uh, no, just for number one. Just number just one. Just number one, okay, and number two? It was a window sign and they motioned to approve due to lack of vis visibility. Okay, so yeah, I have a motion. motion. Yeah. Motion to approve both signs per the sign advisory recommendations. Okay, very good. Now, the big long list of consents. Well, everybody has to say aye. 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 That was Abby who said it. Aye. aye. Abby, aye. Yes, aye. And Val, aye. So, okay. So now it is consent. I got to sit off. All right. Anybody else? Just looks just like just you, right? Yeah. Oh. Carrie, but she's not going to be on it anyway. To begin right. So uh, I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. All righty. Thank you. Uh, Connie? Aye. Joe? Aye. Aye. And I'm an I. So that passes three all the way down to consent with condition, which we have one through. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There and I ten. have to sit off this as well. Do you? All right. Yes. So can we do the same thing? Will you make a motion, Connie? I make a motion to approve the consent with conditions. Very good. Joe? Aye. Abby? Aye. And I'm an I also. Okay, that takes it to consent with conditions uh, all the way through. And the next thing is old business. We have just going to hear three, which is 30 Russell's Way, uh, Chip Webster. And is Chip, is he here? It's usually here. Madam Chair, he's not in the queue or here. And what about uh, huh? Matt at uh, 24 or 2 and 4 Highland Avenue? Is he here? No, Madam Chair. So should we have a motion to hold? A motion to hold 3 and 5 for representation. Thank you very much. Connie? Aye. Val? Aye. Joe? Aye. Con uh, Abby? Aye. And I'm an aye. So the next business will be a uh, new business. And it is 16 Broad Street. Are we holding that? As Ronald well, know, have we got somebody here representing? It was Linda, right? Mm -hmm. It was Linda, and she was going to try to get Brooke to represent since they've been working together with the pro on the project. Well, the not in the queue. Okay, what about Linda? No. no. I got uh, one, two, three, four, five of hers, which starts with 18 South Shore. May I motion to hold one through six for representation? Although, I, I, can I say one thing about six? Well, we'll wait until she's here. I reviewed six for consent, but... Um, and I reviewed 18 South Shore. Well, do you want to hold it? Is she, do you know anybody know when she's coming? No. I can't imagine she just drop it. But what about then? <laughs> At 12, thank me. We're probably going so fast that yeah. they haven't gotten on yet. 
Madam Chair, he is not in the queue. Well, motion to hold for representation. So moved. And Madam Chair, uh, numbers eight through 11 requested to hold till next week as well. <laughs> I had hey, those on consent too. With conditions. There. All right, eight through 11. Hold. We are going to hold. We don't need to. It's for next week, so we don't have to yep. specify that. Uh, 12 is 14 Hussey. Window revision. Is that person here? Why do we have this meeting? Oh, Chip. Madam Chair, Chip Webster is now in the queue. Chip is here? Chip is here. Yeah. Okay. Let's um, go back. Motion to hear number three on old business. <laughs> okay. Chip, how are you? I mean, are you there? Well, can you hear me? Good, good, good. We good have. Time. So on 30 Russells, this was one that we had um, put on hold because we didn't have the polls up yet. Okay. And we I thought we coordinated with Esmeralda. Es is Esmeralda there? Did she? I'm here. Did, uh, and Lucas had indicated to me that he had, had coordinated with you that we were going to hold this. We weren't able to get the polls up yet. But well, this, this is 30 Russells way. Okay. That is correct. Yes, I am. Okay. So we'll hold that. Motion. Yes. So, sorry about that. That's all right. Hold yeah, it, polls. As, soon, as soon as we get the polls up, we will uh, let you know and we can put it back on. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Connie. Thanks, everyone. Have a good evening. You Thanks. too. All right, bye. Um, motion to hold um, number three, old business for high polls. Thank you, Joe. I. Uh, Ab Abby. I. And Val. I. And I'm an I. Yeah. Um. Ethan's on his way, which is the EMDA next four, so he'll be here shortly. And what's his name? Ethan McMorrow. Oh, that's yeah. I never recognized the <laughs> the letters, you know. M Madam Chair, as as far as on the agenda, um, Ethan's two applications, number 13 and 14, which are 25 East Lincoln Ave and two Cabot. We actually heard those, I think, two weeks ago or a week ago. Um, but anyway, it was at the end of the agenda, and that's how it ca got carried over. Um, so we can we can strike those off the agenda. Because they've already been done. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sorry about that. I'll knock those up. We don't have to worry about those, right? All right. Wow, we might make happy hour. <laughs> huh. Do they have that? I gotta I gotta get a van. <laughs> I don't want to sit here till seven o'clock. Um so then we're uh, at number are we at number fifteen? That yes. is or excuse me, sixteen. Have to do garage. But that's also EMDA. That, I think I just saw him coming in. Skip over him. Until yeah, 14 and 15, no, 12 and 15 are Ethan and he is on his way. He should be coming in, right? So. Okay. And what about uh, Seven, Myra six. Escobar? Is she not here yet? And is anyone here? Let's take who's here. <laughs> That's yeah. a great idea, actually. The, um, the the owner for 55 Union Street is here. 55 what? Union. Oh. oh where? Number 20. 20. He's on hey. Zoom. How far 20. down is that? 50. Number 20. Number 20. Oh, yes. Didn't I read something about a special agreement they had with putting the driveway in as a okay yeah. let yeah what is it let us talk to matthew brandon hi hi so let, tell us about your project 
So um, my late wife who passed away in March uh, restored this house just from uh, 55 Union Street right there. And um, we're just trying to, there's a gate already in this fence and open up a parking space so that we could um, have a place to put our car, which sometimes is near impossible. And I wanna make it as discreet as almost invisible as I can, the NPT had proposed uh, putting parallel tracks of rectangular trimmed flagstones down. So that would be my goal to do something that nothing meant more to Michelle than uh, historic preservation. So I wanted to look very nice. You go in there. Yeah. Yeah, so the traffic and safety wanted to make sure it was too deep but I'm only going to put stones for, so we'll always have that space, but I would only put stones for one car's worth. Uh, and you can see like both neighbors on either side of me have a uh, driveway, so I'm not taking away from their parking space. No, so who would like to begin? Madam Chair. There's Holly and we Vicky. Have, and we have uh, Vicky. Holly. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, so yeah, so this um, 55 Union Street is a typical Nantucket circa 1835 Greek Revival. It's a Nicholson Andrews house built by uh, John B. Nicholson, um, one of my favorite house rights, actually. And it was restored in 2015. NPT holds a preservation uh, easement on the um, property approved last year. Um, and I did just wanted to do a, a shout out to, to um, that effort because that also provides a new uh, HDC survey, the Form B, um, which is great. You can find on uh, Macris's website. Um, so while the type of driveway curb cut is appropriate for this historic property, an NPT holder of the preservation restriction approves it, the site plan proposed needs to clarify and clearly indicate the type of paving stones proposed. NPT does not approve of Belgian block um, pavers, cast stone or composite pavers. And I would agree 100%. It would be better um, for rectangular flagstones of granite, um, some type of schist or blue stone. Um, but a site plan should be revised accordingly along with dimensions of one car length and a photo of the proposed material. Uh, it should also include the exact location of the existing, wo existing wooden gate and fence, which is to be remain remaining on site, um, and the delineation of the existing grass for the start of the paving stones just behind that, that gate and fence. Um, I did notate on the site plan, um, although it's in inches, so I converted it to feet, <laughs> um, is a proposed 36 foot by 12 and a half foot space and I just wanted to emphasize that zoning the zoning bylaw chapter 139-18 for off street parking um, recommends a nine by 20 or reduced size um, seven by 17 um, and staff agrees with NPT's assumption that the existing gravel apron will be should be left as is preserving its informal street edge in keeping with the historic character of this section of Union Street. So um, while I, uh, I don't have any concerns on the proposed um, driveway, I think just having some clarification on, on the uh, site plan itself would be more than helpful. Um, you did see a letter in your packet from MPT giving a conditional approval on the proposed driveway. And I do note that Mary Bergman, executive director is in the, in the Zoom if you have any questions. Good, all right, let me, is, is Mickey here? Yep. I'm right here. Oh, there you are, in real. I'm here. In real time. Yep. So um, I'm going to let Mary speak to this also, but I just wanted to say from our, from um, the Historic Structures Advisory Group that um, we kind of agree with what Holly's saying, I'm pretty sure, that we want, would like to see more detail on the size of the stones and probably the, the type of stone. Uh, but I think Mary might add something to that also. Thank you. Thank you. Is Mary here? I am. Hi, Diane. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi. Um, yes. And Matthew and I were talking today um, and we were, you know, looking at um, 
the crosswalks on Upper Main Street, which is the picture that Esmeralda has up for you right now. This is connecting the Pacific Club, uh, Pacific Bank to Murray's. And, you know, those flats, I think what we would like to see if it works with Matthew's program are these, uh, you know, flat stones, as he was describing, that are about a foot wide and anywhere from a foot to three feet in range, you know, without the brick um, infill, but the the, that that uh, edging of the stone there would be where the car's tires would sit. Um, and I think it would be pretty minimally visible from the street that way. And it would be something that um, is period appropriate if you think of when the street was laid out and when the house was built. Right. So uh, that it's good that uh, in this site plan, I have, they don't show exactly where the, uh, but if the driveway just to catch you, catch you while you're here, the driveway goes right next to the house because it's got that beautiful lot that goes all the way to Dover and, and uh, or York Street. So I think that the, uh, Location is good. I just don't remember so much parking right on Union Street there. But um, if if they don't mind it, I guess it would be okay. So would somebody like to start and, and give a suggestion of what they think the parking lot should be? I'll actually make a motion. Okay. Motion to approve through staff with Holly um, reviewing the plan with more detail and photos, et cetera, that are required. Per Mary and Mickey's Mickey. recommendation. Does that include uh, Val that, that it's just for one parking? Yeah. That it's like the, the, the 20, the nine by 20 thing. Well, sure, I'll include that. I actually had a question. So okay. can, if you don't mind holding the motion just for a second. Um, there's the site, one of the site plans that's submitted, which is dated 2016, shows, says proposed four foot wide brick sidewalk and proposed grass strip and proposed granite curb. Like there's, it's not, delineated like it's part of the HDC application, but that is different than the photograph that shows the gravel there. So I don't know if the plan is to run, it's the last page, page seven of this, you know, all of that, that all says proposed brick, proposed grass, which would change that entire length of street if that's part of this application. I and would presumably then change what you might have for a driveway material. I that actually, uh, that, that is not part of the proposal. That is, uh, when I went to the HDC, they wanted to pull up if they had plans on record and they just included that, but there's oh. no, that, yeah, there's no curb with the brick and that is from okay. 2016. So that's something old. It's just, I guess they wanted it for the site dimensions and structure something but yeah i'm sorry if that was misleading okay thanks i just wanted to make sure that that wasn't <laughs> very different yeah being yeah. approved along with the simple driveway yeah i don't i don't know i think that that is a busy area because that's where the old basket museum is and stuff so um, so would we take a vote on Val's motion saying that it would go to oh, staff yeah. with uh, Holly's versus representing the wishes of the commission and the required material that we need to, to uh, satisfy that. Okay. Madam Chair, do you all on the on the motion? Do you all have a preference of the material? Yeah, I, I like those stones that Mary was talking about. 
Are the okay. those Goshen's just they're irregular, they're not like perfectly square cut. Yep. Yeah. Flagstones. Okay. So yep. Val's made the motion. Sorry, I just I, I just missed some of that. Um sorry, I just got the call from Triple Eight. What did you say, Val? Motion to approve through staff per the NPT and HSAG recommendations, as well as Holly's. Holly will review and sign off on it with the appropriate materials. Yeah, I yeah, I I I thought I think what they were saying were what those stones were the Goshen stones. That I don't are, know if that's what those are on Main Street, but. The other preference I might have what might be just a co cobblestone strips if if, if you're my asking motion. for in my motion. Yeah, yeah, but you but then um Holly said uh, do we have any preference? So I was just saying that I wouldn't mind cobblestone either. Okay, well we have a motion on the board saying that uh suggestions to Holly and that she would make the final choice. So that probably would be best thing to stay with. So uh Connie. I Joe. No. No. I'm a, I'm a nay. To what? No, I I Do don't you want support to make more comment or we'll just see how it go. I mean I trust I, that I, Holly will represent us well, but there's enough questions for me that I'd want to see a drawing of okay. what this thing looks like. Val, I mean, I, Val, I, Abby, um, I, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, I'm a no because, um, yeah, I, I almost uh, this was probably on a view, but I didn't see it, so, um, yeah, I just would be, um, I'd, I'd rather know more about what's going there. That's okay. The, uh, well, I'm an I because I know the house very well, and I think it'll fit in there. So for this, I'm an I, and that's three to two. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mary. Uh, the next one is the... Uh, Ethan came back. Is Ethan on now? And who's this gentleman? Do you have a project on the agenda? Uh, no, I'm here for uh, approval on the fence. He's for 50 storm room. Okay. Okay, we haven't gotten to that one yet. No, okay. okay. Uh, so do we have one for, what is he? 14 Hussey. 14 Hussey? Yeah. Hi. I think I put it on. All right. So you want to begin? They basically the house in the back has uh you look at the, my drawings. A cantilevered second floor with a triangle bay window below it. They want to bring it down to the ground. And then the rear elevation, if you go to the rear. On the there's um those triple windows or bay windows that stick out, and you can see it on the top right how it sticks out a little bit. They want to make that flush. And also on the second floor, there's mismatched windows. They want to make it all the same. That's it. Okay, that that is it. Um, Holly, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, so for the record, this is a circa 1795 typical Nantucket, um, originally by Cornelius Allen, a, a cabinet maker. Um, and I this I, I note this is I think a, a, another revision that you all have seen um, from Ethan on this. Um, any of the new owners, um, as the east elevation is um, proposing unganged windows. Um, Instead of ganged windows on the south elevation, it should be unganged or kept as previously approved. Uh, the ganged windows with very large windows, may I add, on top of additional gang, triple ganged windows is not appropriate for this rear L of this typical Nantucket. 
I would recommend to keep the south as is or reduce the scale and size of the windows considerably and reducing the, you know, I, I, I get the, un, the, the, the trying to change it, but um, to kind of configure that window, but it's too much in my opinion. So those are my comments, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Nikki. Yes. So pretty much what Holly just said, the um, we feel the ganged windows are not appropriate. They they could conceivably be visible from India Street. Um, I think it'd be preferable to have two um, up, you know, the upper and lower floors just to have two individual units on each floor instead of three gang three gang windows. And also the size of the windows, the the window panes are they don't really match the, the old original windows in the house. If the windows were a um, little taller and narrower, the panes would be um, the panes would match the existing a little better. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do we have anybody in the audience who wants to speak on this house? All righty, then I will start. I can, I can go, Diane. Um, okay. And then, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna be off for about um, five or ten minutes um, because, yeah. So um, I agree with Mickey on this that that two with a more vertical would be more appropriate for this um, this old house. And um, those are my thoughts. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Val. Okay. I have a question first for Ethan through you, Madam Chair. Ethan, if you're looking at the east elevation, um, the middle segment next to where you have it bubbled, what is that window? What size is that window? It's single by itself sitting on top of a small little roof. That's existing. I know. I'm oh, just asking, is it the same size as the windows you're proposing? Yeah, basically see the window above it to the right, and that to the right with the little the dumb, that one. I copied that window. So the bedroom has all the windows are exactly the same as the one that was there, that one right there. So that one's that's existing. A D. It's basically the D windows that you I have. Can't see it. But yeah, right there above that little angle, that's a cellar, enclosed cellar staircase. So the windows on the first floor are all matching the existing window in scale and size. Yeah. So this, I'm asking if yeah. these are this. Yes. Okay. Um, maybe they just look different because they're all ganged together. So yes. I would go along with the size and just doing two separated. I'm getting them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Joe. Um, I'd be fine with the first floor being ganged and the second floor, if that's potentially visible, that that's two. And given that we'd approve it was previously approved to have ganged windows, albeit they're a little bit smaller on the first floor. So the three over th three stacked over three stacked seems excessive. So I'd be fine with leaving the first floor as you have it and adjusting Perfect. the second floor. The second floor is visible. And I, I did agree with Mickey's comments about the proportions because they do feel a little bit square, but if they do match what's on the first floor, then I'd fine with the pain size. Okay. That's on the south elevation? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Connie. Um, I don't really have anything much else to add. I'm in agreement that I think they're, that they're, the proportions are a little too wide. Um, I'm having more trouble on the south elevation than I am on the east with those two sets of three of the windows with the three over the three. Um, so I would be in agreement with with what's already been said. Alrighty, I uh, my particular feeling is that there's a lot of windows mm. on the south the south elevation particularly on uh, and the other thing I was concerned on the east 
elevation, the triple window up on the third floor, I think is, is heavy, heavy for up there. Um, that's existing, I think, that's, Diane. Beg pardon? Sorry to interrupt you. I think that that's existing. Yeah, that's existing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's only the, these ones. All right. Well, I would, triple windows is not my favorite thing. Uh, I would take the suggestion that has been made is the second triple window on the second floor would be separated down as they were on the east elevation on the first floor. Uh, funny that the windows, a lot of the windows up in the second floor look sort of bigger than the ones on the first floor. But anyway, uh, that's what I would go for. So do we have a motion that would be? Yeah, I would make that motion that the east elevation is approved as submitted and the south elevation would be approved through staff to have the second floor triple windows be represented as two unganged windows, Good. similar in spacing to the east elevation. Yes. All right. Uh, is that just the second floor, Joe, or, or the first floor too? Uh, yes, just the second floor. And the and they're going to be more vertical, like the like the original windows. They are the same size. They're the same size, Ethan said, as the ones that are present on the building. But they're existing, so they're not under discussion. Huh. Um, so who would like to make that motion? You, Joe? Joe? Yeah. Okay. Connie, on Joe's motion. Aye. All right. Val. Aye. Abby. Aye. And Joe, on your motion. Aye. And I'm an I also. So that is good. Thank you. Uh, are we doing with you, what, 44 Manhattan? Sure. Yeah, all of them. There's... What's the other one? Oh, we were under the impression that the other ones were held for some reason. 25 was approved two weeks ago. And oh, so right, was right. Cabot. Cabot. Cabot wasn't was approved. It was, it was huge. Yeah. Yeah, I had to refiled it because it's on the agenda. So okay. you have the new drawings. Yes, Is I that thought. Cabot? Yeah. Okay, so let's do two Cabot next. Where's two Cabot? Oh, okay, well then I was confused. It was on the agenda, so. On the cliff. Hmm? To Cabot? On the cliff, off Cliff Road. Yeah, that's a whole new... A little guy. First road going up cliff. On the right. I don't see it. Uh, oh, I know. Okay, would you like to... Do you got it up there? There it goes. Uh, yeah, scroll down to the drawings. So what do you propose for there? So basically that's the wrong file because I submitted the correct file, but you guys had the problem with the internet member who was submitting files. So I brought it in on the micro drive uh, a week ago. Yeah, this looks a lot like the one we it's looked at. It's the original <laughs> submission. That's the original submission. So I brought in, because the HTC server was down, so I brought in last... And I brought in physical copies too, but I brought in uh, and Adrian installed it directly. So you don't have that with you. You have the hard copy. Yeah, well, you have the hard copies. Have you got copies? It was on. It wasn't on the view file, so I said I didn't have a chance to review it. Same with me. I looked at that and go, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Do you guys want to review it now, or? All I did was just the recommendations that you had for Madam the last. Chair, can we yeah. hold this till next week because we don't have the correct files? Okay, so we're going to hold this until next right. week. Goodbye. You can go first. Okay. Thanks. Take a vote. So we do have your. 44 Monahansett, right? Yes, that's next one. Okay, well, let's do that. 
خب مزد Madam Chair, yes, I'm going to sit off for a couple of minutes till I get this thing straightened out. Okay. Okay, I will just yell when you're ready to back. Okay. So this is not my design. I'm just representing the client. <laughs> the garage doors don't face the street on this, right? No, Looks they like face. You. They face inward. That face. Up top right faces the street. Well, I guess there's Actually, two streets. <laughs> yeah, it faces it faces the driveway. The garage doors face the driveway. Sorry, yeah. Right, those garage doors, the tall one. I thought that they faced Evergreen, but no, they face it faces into the, the driveway, right? Yeah, the switchbacks faces the street. The reason is it's a tall garage and short. It's a tertiary dwelling slash shop. You need to put like. A, vehicle you know trailer and all the equipment boat in there and that's why it's tall okay so that's it you finished yes all righty uh i don't think holly or vicky got anything to say so we'll start with val um Ethan the pictures that you're showing us is it the wide open space uh yeah uh I'll scroll back I just looked at your computer <laughs> the photographs that's so that is the yes that's so it's very part. visible very visible actually it's no that sorry this is from the side street so that's the guest house it's going behind the trees and that's from the other street, so it's behind the trees. It, it's tall, so it'll be visible. What what house is that right there with the car in front of it? That's the guest house. Which is the the cape, story and a half. Mm. And that's yeah, that's at the driveway looking. There's the cape, a better view of it. So it's going like where the trees are. Are the trees staying? I believe they are, because it's well, I mean, so that would be it's well beyond the setback. So yeah, the trees, you know. If I'm reading this site plan and this photograph correctly, that existing building is past where you're yeah, putting this, and I you're putting you're right. it in this grassy area. To, no, Joe, you're right. It's your left of the box truck in front of the trees. So yeah, you'll see it. It's very visible. Do you mind looking at that? Can we look at the site plan for a second? The one with this red circle on it yeah. that has the roof. I think it's down or up one there. Okay. So that existing structure that we that we were just looking at, yes. is that that yes. building? Yes. And we were just looking at it from this street, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh. And the trees are in somebody else's lot. Right. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. I, I honestly the thing's visible. Agree. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, if you go to the photograph, I'm not trying to give you a difficult no, no, I just want to understand this. Um, it looks to me like that's the site. That's the site. Yeah, I think you're right. I didn't take the photo. Well, and it says garage location back and, there. And I think that garage location that. Yeah, I got lost in it too. So I think it's going where that car is. Or Right. So it's right on the road. You're, yeah, it's right on the corner. So you're going to see that tall switchback stair and yeah. you're going to see yes. the doors. Is that switchback stair? And it's hard to tell from the drawing. Um, is that thing enclosed underneath or is that those yeah. are just. No, those are the steps. Those are the steps. Right, those shingles that are underneath that That's stair, the they're on the wall in the back, right? That's not yes. infill. No, no, no. Yeah. It's open stairs. Hmm. It's too bad the west wasn't facing the street. It's a little more palatable. Particular house is visible from every angle. <laughs> um, the, uh, 
there's a bar next to it and this is tucked around from there it's a huge garage door well somebody just mentioned who mentioned flip-flopping it me you could literally mirror this whole thing yeah and then it's at least a little more palatable what's facing the street yeah, yeah. what's facing the street you have a well there's a different there's a height change because the the stairs climbing over right. the tall garage and that's facing the road if the the thing were reversed you'd have yeah a much more is that a possibility for approval yeah <laughs> <laughs> well it also takes the doors and puts them more inward on the property as well i mean it's coming down evergreen it's harder to see so whatever you want to hide should should be on that side. Uh, so what's the um, color of those doors? I think it's going to be matching the, what did I put in the application a while ago? But it's going to be uh, matching the house. Oh, the doors will be natural, I believe, because it's, they're so big. Let's see. What? The windows are white. The trim's natural. It's matching the house directly next to it. Right. It says cedar, overhead doors, yeah. cedar. Well, it doesn't say whether or not it's painted, but. <laughs> no, it's not. The sash is black and white. So. That's what the house has. Doors are white. The sash, the house has black. Directly next to it's a prefab. So it's gray, black, and white. What white, I believe, is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what the house is. So, okay, <clears throat> Val, you've got some questions you'd like to. No, I, I, I you make could this. try and make a motion unless other people want to say anything. Everybody said everything they want to, then we have a motion that you would put up. I would motion to approve with the following conditions, flipping it so that the west and east are swapped. Mm -hmm. I like Joe's idea of pushing that that means then the doors will be more inboard. And if it could possibly be screened with something. I'm sure it will. That's why he's left the lot yeah. blank now for, um, but you can make that, that would, in there. I mean, I get the area it's across from the airport, but still. Yeah, uh, I think if you flipped it and pushed it back another, 10 feet. 10 feet, then 10 feet west towards the west. towards the, west. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's my motion. All right. Flipping it and shifting it 10 feet and Val, begging say, for screening. We'd say flip it, mirror it, or flip it or rotate it like this. No, don't rotate it. Mirror Just it. go like this. Mirror it. Mirror it. Yeah, mirror it. it. Mirror okay. it. Got it. Agreed. Mirror. Okay. And CAD speak. That's <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Honey. <laughs> On Val's motion. <laughs> you don't have to agree. <laughs> I'll I'll say I joke. Yeah, I say I I. I. <laughs> <laughs> Abby is away. Val, I and I'm an I. So that is great. So does that take care of everybody? Everybody you. for you? It, yeah, it does. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So, did Mary Escobar ever? She's here. Good. So we have, we have three Macy Lane. The color changed. I haven't signed. Uh, if you would like to tell us what you want to do. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we're um we want to change the color of the that yellow on the clapboard on three Macy's Lane and five Macy's Lane. I think the other building. I submitted oh, two applications. Oh, diamonds. Yes. Yes, and we also want to get rid of that half moon window because it's rotted and 
Uh, there's nothing up there, it's just an attic. That's the other building that we're looking to change the color. What color? Soldier it's blue. one of the ones. Soldier blue. It yeah, says. soldier blue. I'd motion to approve. How about yeah. Abby, you got, have anything you want to say? Oh, no, she's not on it. Uh, and we all approve? Is that all you want to say? No, I think that's good. Good. Okay. Uh, appropriate. Appropriate, yes. I've never been a fan of this yellow on this building. So, uh, and you should get a certificate for removing the half round window, <laughs> which is your next application. No, we do want to get rid of the awning. Actually, um, that's uh, another project <laughs> for later down the road. Um, yeah. So. But you're removing the half round window. I know yes. this is the next application, but since we're looking at this. Right. You know, yeah, that, I need to. That's okay. going out, too. Yeah, that's we want. That's on both sides of the building, though, on the parking side. Well, let's park. get this one take care of first. Uh, you and I on Joe's motion. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And Abby's not here. So, I, I, I'm 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 in favor. I, I'm really oh, not here. Back? Okay. Not Did really. You. This uh, is a pain in the ass. These people said they would be here at quarter of four. So sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right. So now we're going to the second one. Uh, color change. On the on the clavard, same color, same color. Same that's color. the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that we have a motion on that. Motion to approve. As All right, and uh, Joe. Aye. And uh, Abby. Yes. Abby, I have to remember what my name is. And too many things. Value on. I. I and I have an I also. So that takes care of that. What about uh Thank you. oh 50 square road here? The here's the fence. Where is our gentleman who wanted the fence? Yes, please do and tell us what you would like. Madam Chair? Yeah. Um I don't know if I could. Speak on behalf of this application as well. On on this app, sure. Yes. So this app, this fence application. Well, this fence came to us, the HCC, due to a complaint from a neighbor. Um, I did go out there. I took pictures. It's not visible from anywhere, um, private or public way. I did add pictures to the file. Um, I just wanted to let you know that um, that it's not visible at all. The and only, you checked it out, right? I did go out there. I did take pictures. They are on the file. They're on the screen as well. Um, th there's no possible way to see it from a public or private way. I know that neighbors were complaining about the fence. I explained to them uh, they were concerned about possibly being on their land, uh, possibly being on wetlands. I explained to the neighbors that they should contact ComCon or uh, reach out to a surveyor to actually survey the property. But that's all I want to say, Madam Chair. Thank so you. It is strange. Mm -hmm. All right, so would you like to tell us about oh, what you have? Tell you about what, I'm sorry? Tell us what you really want to do so that. Well, I, I was told that um, I needed to get a permit because the fence is over seven feet tall. I uh, spoke to a, um, that's the back side. I do have a picture of the front side if you want to see it. That fence is seven feet? Uh, that feet, that, well, I'm sorry. The, the lower one is a little bit under six feet and the taller one is eight feet. For any any reason? Any reason? Yeah. Why yes. Um, we don't usually do eight feet. Um, right. Um, I spoke to a uh, professional fence 
builder because we were having a um, deer problem. The deer were coming over the uh, smaller fence and my wife is an avid gardener and does a lot of work with the gardens and they are over in front of the house. Um, the other thing is I've had Lyme disease four times, so I'm a little paranoid about deer. And uh, uh, ticks don't make the best pets. So um, I am um, very paranoid around deer. So the fence person said, you need to have a fence eight feet high if you really want to stop the deer from coming over. So I, I said, is there anything else I need to know? And he said, as long as you can't see it from the road. What I didn't know was that I needed a permit. That I did not know. And um, I wasn't told that. And maybe I should, have, I should have done a little bit more homework, but I was dealing with a fence person that had been building fences for 20 years. So I thought he was giving me accurate information. Well. Oh, let me get the, the feeling from the commission. I will just say that we had a fence that was trying to do the same thing that you're trying to do. First of all, no matter what you try and do, we have deer on the island and there, and they are the only things that carry ticks. But um, what we did in, in another location that they wanted to go up eight feet was we did a six foot fence and then raised up and went to a wire that covers the next two feet. So it's it's not visible and the deer won't go through it because, because they know the wire is there. So uh, it may be a solution if you have neighbors who are worried, but Esmeralda was there and said, you can't see it. So that is also in the works. So let's talk about it and see what we can come up. But there are some answers about you think if you can't see it, you can't see it. Well, no, you, you can't see it anywhere. The, the smaller fence that has the two. Okay, let's hear from the board now, I think. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, we need you on the, on the mic. Oh, okay. um, um, the fence that has the two boards there. Yeah. We have had to push deer out of those spots. They have gone, tried to go through it, and they have gotten stuck. And so if we have something six feet with a wire, I'm just concerned that the same thing is going to happen because the deer is congregating behind that fence. That area was opened up. At one time, there, was, there were trees and brush going up to the fence. We didn't have that problem. But the owner cleared that out. And so it gave deer the opportunity not only to come into the area, but to congregate. So there are times when from my second floor, I can see three, four or five deer in that alleyway. Right. So we just wanted to make sure that the deer didn't come over. And that's why we built an eight foot fence. Well, <clears throat> you we, start. yeah, I mean, from a public purview, we can't see it, but I can see why it's an issue. It looks like you went to the take it or leave it and took every single piece of fence that was there and cobbled it together. I mean, that's probably the biggest complaint why they, they don't like it because it's so haphazard. Perhaps if you're not gonna change it to be wire, which is what most people do, um, you could plant in front of it to sort of mitigate its... Well, that's the only... Let everybody we see. can't go back and forth before you oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't know the protocol i'm sorry um because it i mean if this could be seen we'd make you take it down it's terrible it needs some tidying up so um well i've been i live in tom nevers and we have a lot of deer so i empathize with your deer situation but i mean i've seen 
10 foot fences with metal poles and mesh that you don't even notice, especially with the scrub oak and the vegetation. And regardless of the visibility of this, I just think we're set. This is 70 something feet long, at least if you count these sec sections of fence. And it is cobbled together with found, there's like six different types of fencing here. I think it sets a really dangerous precedent to say, we can build whatever we want as long as you can't see it, not in just fences, but anything. So I, I, I take the position that, um, you know, if it's not visible, it's maybe yeah. due to some vegetation that's there, but there might be oblique views. We haven't gone out to all see it. Um, I, I, I don't see a way where I would ever uh, approve this. Okay, Connie. I'm with Joe. Uh, Abby. Yeah, I agree with Joe and Val. Um, I I couldn't, I wouldn't, this is really, um, this is uh, pretty egregious. Um, and not only that, but the it's, it's the boards are right. They're not even spaced. It's, it's, it's over seven feet, which we never allow. Um, I would go back to whatever we did over at that Hickory Meadow and allow them to do, they had the same problem. Everybody's got this problem. It's not, uh, we're not picking on you. It's just, uh, you know, we do have solutions to this. So I would be a nay on this. Thank you. Okay, I think you have got to go, go back and put it together. So, if one thing you had the same kind of fence going up, down, so you had one type of fence instead of six or seven heights and whatever, it it really Val's description of the take it leave it is is just right. There there are two panels that are are alike, so the vote is against you for many reasons. Not the primary one is you can't see it, that's true, but you are creating something that we don't want to happen again. And if you drive over, if you know the area beside the Hickory Hill place over beside the Animal Hospital, they haven't changed, they haven't changed oh. it. Well, you. Mm. <laughs> If they haven't changed it, they're under auspices to do it because we refused their their uh, application. It would be good, first of all, I don't see on, on my thing, maybe I have it, is how far off the um, your property line the fence is. Yeah, site plan would be super helpful. Um, and to do that, so that we can make you plant vegetation so it, it becomes, so you can't see it. All the vegetation would have to be on the outside of the fence, not on the inside of the fence. So that takes space. It, this has to be done again because at the moment it is denied. And I would talk to your if your fence man is from Nantucket, he surely knows what the rules are. Uh, and you tell him that you have to abide by those rules, whether in, in this particular case, it's all visible or not. You don't know what's going to happen next to you. You never can tell. So you have to protect your property from view. And that's why you want to put the vegetation on the outside of the fence and go around it that way. So that would be my suggestion uh, for looking at the problem. And it, because at the moment you have to, that we are not approving this fence. But may I say something now? Yes. Yeah, I, I'd like to say something too. Um, and I'm still talking, well, the board is still talking. And I'd just like to say that if I were a deer, I'd just walk down 10 feet and go, to where it is on the far side here and jump over this way. 
it's, it's, I, I'm not sure what the solution is here, but maybe we could hold for some revisions and you could come up with a solution and represent before we deny it. Yeah, I think that's very good. We would hold for some revision. Yeah, I just wanted to say one thing, like, well, a couple of things, just generally speaking, um, for fences, regardless of the height, the nice side is supposed to face the neighbor. Um, the constructed side or the where you see the components of the fence face inward to your property. This looks like it's the opposite of that. Um, then if a fence gets five or six feet tall, generally speaking, we don't allow them to be right on the property line or even a foot. I think last week we moved a fence five feet along the whole length of the property so that vegetation and screening could be planted in consideration of the neighbor because it was a tall fence, um, tall six feet. So those are just some general um, rules regarding um, fencing that, just to put it in perspective. Um, well, thank you. Um, the fence I'll make a motion to hold for revisions and see what you can do now that you have this information. Okay, thank you. Abby, so we will go on. Uh, yeah, well, I will, I, I'll, I'll say we. I'm not go. quite clear about what you want from me. I, I, we want to have. Look at the fence again. We want you to look at the fence again. We want you to know that the bad part of the fence with all the poles and the rest of the stuff faces your property not the next door neighbor's property. You, They get the good side, you get the bad side. The fence has to be set in enough at three, four feet would be a small amount so that planting can go along the fence on, on the outside between the neighbor and the fence. So that fence is protected going along the, the fence in all ways, so it is hidden. The fence has to be reversed with the bad side going to you, the good side going. It should be the same height. It shouldn't be seven feet in one place and five feet in the other. You should talk about having it at six feet with the wire two feet above. A deer will not go, I don't care what you guys said, a deer will not go through space up two feet. We have all lived with deer here for the whole time we've lived here. And you get to sort of know, put up some sort of deer protection to, that deer aren't gonna go away. So we'd like, and we, what, we would like a site plan so what the the your site is, how far what your setback is, so that we that has to be it should be in with your plans, not just this. And we would we would hold for this, which will give you time to go home and study it, and talk to your fence man, and tell him what the what we would like the fence to be and that then you won't go through all this business and being that you can't see it you can't put it up backwards even though you can't see it there are you just you have to follow the rules because you don't know what's going to happen to the property next to you okay Does that make it easier yeah, it does. I'm just wondering whether I can give you a little feedback now about something. Well, you, yes, you certainly may. Okay, thank you for doing that. This fence is not done. The, these parts here that you're seeing that are broken up are going to be just like the eight foot fence. The rail fence is their fence, not mine. So it was going to be even, and the stripes that you're seeing here are going to be removed. So it's going to be one constant fence going all the way across. Who eight should be tall? I'm sorry. It's going to be eight feet tall. Yeah. Of the solid board? 
No. Right, it's just like the other pieces right here. The bottom yeah. pieces, no, the no. bottom pieces aren't solid. I know it's weird. <laughs> who's this? Who's is the picking mm -hmm. fence? Bears. They own the picking. They, they and, own and your property. You put. You got that fence right up. They own the split rail. The neighbor owns the split rail. The split rail, not but the picket. So that's right next to the his yes. tall fence. It looks yes. like it's nailed into the tall fence. No, it's not. It's not nailed in at all. That's their you, you, well, you can't have them that close. It has no. to be land between you, his fence, and your fence. It has to be at least five feet. Madam Chair, I, I don't have confused. to on my property to bring the fence well, to, yeah. to bring it in five feet. The, I don't have that kind of room. Ma Madam Chair, yeah. I wouldn't be able to bring my car through the driveway if I did that. If I may, since the board has already made a motion for revisions, I think it would be beneficial for specific revisions, specifically saying revisions that yeah. include a site plan yeah. with the property line boundaries showing the proposed location of the um, proposed fence that's partially built, um, in addition to where the um, neighbor's uh, split rail fence is. I will notate that split rail fences, as you, as the commission is aware of, is not required. Um, those are those are allowed to be Notice. without with any approval. Um, but anything else does, and then um, you may want to sp uh, stipulate that specific type of fence, whether it's a board fence, five and one fence, how high. I think that type of specific um, recommendation should be provided to the applicant. That's, I think that's virtually impossible at the moment. I think that you can talk to Holly or Esmeralda if you come up with zero ideas, but you have to work it out. It's, yeah, we need a site plan with a comprehensive delineation of the sections of the fence and right. the height of that fence and a I depiction guess. of what the fence is going to look like. Because I, I don't see a scenario where we would approve a combination of an open never, and closed never. fence. And don't. if it's eight feet, does that transition when it gets to the road? Does it wrap around the driveway? Do you have a gate in order to prevent deer from coming up the driveway? I think typically we would see a site plan that has that. and having represented applications on that side of the table, doing fences in town, there might be three or four different types of fences because of the transitioning around the property. And usually where it's visible, even to a neighbor, you've got a solid fence, but if you're where you're in vegetation, you might have an open fence, like with just posts and wire to keep the deer out. So I think um, we need to know where the fence starts and stops um, on a plan. And then at for each length of fence, what does it look like? Um, is it just a board fence? Because I don't think we would, this type of fence, you'd be exactly. the only one with that fence on the Nantucket, I would think. Well, I think too, if I may, it's it's reversed of what usually we have a solid a more solid fence down below and then it can accrete up to something that has space in it like it would be reversed but right, the proportion point. i i would say don't do any more fence until until we see it again yeah and you talk to the staff they will help you get through it but that's that's what the motion is that we're holding for this so don't so, yeah, I think a surveyed plan would be invaluable. I mean, there's looks like there's wetland on here too. And then depending on what your fence plan is, I would hate for you to go down the path of putting up a fence and then have it be an issue with conservation commission. So, and that's not our jurisdiction, but I'm just saying that as a courtesy, you don't want to be spending money. I mean, no, no, no. I, I mean, just if you're planning on going around the entirety of the property, that's why we're a little bit, um, we're not fully, we can't see the full scope of what you want to do. So 
if you're looking to go around the whole property, then it looks like you'd have wetland considerations. But I think we just need to see the extent of the fence on a plan. The main things, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, so who do we have next? Did I see Ben? Ben is here, Madam Chair. So did we actually close that out? Sorry. We motioned somebody motioned to hold for revisions, but I don't think we did a roll call. What's that? Yeah. Who did the motion? I thought you did it, Joe. I thought I thought Abby did. Abby did. Abby yeah. did. Okay. Connie. Aye. Joe. Aye. Bell. Aye. Abby. She stepped away. Abby, Abby. Well, I'm an I. So that that is fine. So, um, do we have any solar panel people? So we're doing um, seven. Are we going back to yeah, seven? Go back to seven. Seven, seven. Thank you. All right, I'm I'm an I. <laughs> okay, it's Ben here. I saw him there. He is. You want to begin? Sure. All right. So um, we're applying for a revision to a previous approval. Uh, a couple months ago, we had approval to uh, do a renovation to this uh, 1930s cottage in, Met in uh, Wisconsin. Um, during the, uh, we had that approval during the kind of the review of the structure and kind of the goals of uh, uh, the Davis family. They would now actually like to lift the building and put a foundation under it. Uh, see it on here. The current building, the, the actual, the, the, the porch in front has a uh, block foundation, but the rest of it is on piers. And I provided a picture of the kind of plywood and um, uh, not tar paper, but like a asphalt paper that they created a barrier. Um, uh, if you roll up, you'll see it. Uh, but um, as you all know, this house was kind of semi-abandoned for quite a long time. So uh, the, the condition of the underneath of it is pretty disgusting, frankly. Um, so um, the idea is to, is to lift it and put it on a new foundation. Um, in that process, they exist, the building currently has a um, grandfathered or you know encroachment on a front or side yard setback, depending on which you determine is the front. So we would be shifting it about a foot and a half away from the corner. Um, the road corner to uh, earn that, uh, to get us out of the setback. Um, we have had, uh, I believe his name is Dale, the tree warden, come and look at that tree on the corner, and that is a town tree. So um, we are going to respect that tree, um, and in that corner, we're going to just do the, the shallow foundation uh, so that we don't disturb the roots. Um, but that, so that tree will remain um, and then the, the rest of the house will have the full depth foundation. Um, so this application is for a new foundation, uh, slight slight relocation of it on the property to um, kind of correct some uh, zoning issues that may come up in the lift and new foundation aspect. And then a walk down um, staircase on the, I want to say east side on the drive, what will be the driveway side. And then I believe it's one window well maybe two window wells uh, north it says is that the north yeah yeah, yeah. so there's that um and then uh window well on the opposite side and that's it but no no changes to the exterior above grade except for the, the walk in the window well. and the foundation what's the foundation going to be poured concrete okay and that that does not raise the height of the house no, we will not change the elevation of the house whatsoever. Okay. Um, we don't have anybody from Wisconsin. Do you? I actually something? have. I do. I do. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. So, yes, for the record, this is a 1920-ish bungalow and in the old historic district of Wisconsin. And I think as we reviewed the last application, very happy to see this house being saved um and pretty much you know brought back to life if you will um thank you ben for explaining the the you know the what exactly is being proposed besides just lifting it and putting a foundation underneath it my um 
obviously one, I'm, I'm glad to hear about um, Dale being contacted about that tree, that it's town tree and that you all are going to be um, working on making sure it's not impacted. Uh, it, does that change to the, the proposed foundation? Is that reflected in the plans? The floor plan does not reflect that. So the, the, the basement plan shows that area where we can't do a full foundation as being full foundation. So the plan that was submitted is not accurate anymore. Okay. Um, so yeah, that corner of, if you look at the plan, we have a, a staircase going into the basement, but then on the opposite side of that, more that has to be a crawl space. So yeah, there's the plan. So the, there's a staircase, but on the, on the left side there, that will have to be a crawl space. Um, I could go up to the screen and show you, but to the bottom of that cup. No, that's the wrong side. Uh, it's on the bottom, but yeah. So uh, to the left of that staircase, uh, internal staircase. <laughs> the lower left right, corner. Yeah. Right, so uh, now we'll come down the stairs here and then do a quick here. And then this whole corner will be a crawl space. So that tree system's here. So that roof all doesn't get affected. Um, one, um, I wanted just to make sure if, if that can be reflected in the plans, A, B, that the um, existing grade height of the existing um, uh, block and pier foundation basically is the same with the poured foundation. So whatever dimension that is. Or finished floor will be the same as finished floor pre and post construction because who knows what's under there, probably a bunch of rocks. Okay, that, that, that would be my, my concern on that. And then I did have uh, an email from our friends in Sconset, and they said that the proposed work on the very important house at 12 West Sankity is very much appreciated, and it will be tremendously good for the structure. Um, they did have a concern, which I think this is on a previous application that you got approved, but the fire pit facing New Street is noted and trust it will be well screened, which we we all agree that it will be. Um, so Madam Chair, those were my comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is there anybody in the sponsor who wants to make the statement? That was on, on their behalf. That's on their behalf. Thank you. Thank you. So, Joe, you want to start with? Sure. Um, it's nice to see people that have bought a house that's single story and they're keeping it as single story, <laughs> not even trying to get six inches out of it. Um, I, I would approve the application with the, as submitted, frankly, um, with the re revision to the basement plan that reflects the crawl space area that you mentioned. Um, I don't know how everybody else feels, but it feels like it's a sensitive um treatment of a building and a stabilization of this building which I just want to have one yeah I know. to show that where the tree is that's staying on the site plan because it looks like it's not there now and how are you screening the window well uh it'll be a great at grade and then we can we'll plant it into it will be in the plant that's it okay abby are you back So, Connie? Oh, nothing else to add. Okay, so we, that sounds like follow along. Holly's made uh, her statement, and uh, Joe's ready to make a motion to approve as the minute. Um, I would make a motion to approve through staff with an updated basement plan that reflects the crawl space that Ben mentioned, and also a site plan that depicts the town tree, which I see on the staff approval as part of this application, but. Okay, so I have that motion. Uh, Connie? Aye. Val? Aye. Joe? Aye. Abby? Aye. And, and me, I'm an aye, so that is all the way through. So Everybody. we've done. Uh, thank you. We've done the curb cut fifty five unit. What about uh, Aurora Way? Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Um. So it's a main house, a pool, and a shed. They're all the same property. I don't know if it's 
easier to discuss them all at the same time or right so what we start with the new dwelling yep so you begin with as soon as it gets up on the board I did the one next door. <laughs> okay. it, it's it's same weird shape. Uh, this one's just set back a lot more because it, it comes in so narrow from the road. Mm -hmm. They're very similar. That's yeah, a tricky lot. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and wetlands in there too. This is the old. Tennis court road, right? Oh, yeah, it's a yeah. old Gary yeah, Wynn. No, I know exactly where it is. I was thinking of the other one. Uh, so, the new begin. Okay. So, this is a new house on 13 Aurora Way. It's the last uh, vacant lot on the road. Uh, it's at the very end on the right. Um, the lot, as you saw before, is very oddly shaped. Um, so, and the house is set pretty far back. I think you'll only really be able to see the north elevation on it. Uh, the east and west that you saw, there's houses right on each side. Um, so the, you really only see the front where the driveway ends. Um, you got a house on the left, right, and then you won't see anything in the back. And you can see the pool, yeah. And the application says it's 23 feet high. Yes, yep. I think that's the limit to that road. Ah. Uh. I don't know if anybody's got anything to say about it on the on Zoom. If they don't, we'll start with Abby. Abby's not there. Val. Um, Can the main gable facing the road be taller than the piece that bisects that? Um, I'm kind of maxed out the 23 feet, but I can maybe you want it to be higher. Or it, I mean, maybe see what everyone else thinks. I just think it should be as high, if not. I can definitely you know, go as high. The face of the house. Yeah. And... I just, it might, I don't know how I'm going to end it though, where it hits that. I guess it'll just be up a little bit on that gable on the. We'll see what that. everyone else yeah. thinks. That's just my thought. Okay. That 23 foot height is the developer's imposition of that height, right? Yeah, it's, the HOA in there, it's a requirement. You can't have anything above. Right. I don't think everybody's adhered to that. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. They're all pretty low in there. I don't know. Yeah. They'll get a tape measure out. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Joe. Yeah. Um, well, again, I think it's a tricky lot for sure. And I think it justifies the the bend that's in this which i don't think you'll see um and there are you know you've got a lot of glass but i don't think you're going to see all that so if we're only looking at the north elevation as the public then there's definitely a spotlight on that and there's a couple things that feel a little incongruent to me um and I can't believe I'm going to say something about your front door, given this is okay. the entire house. But the front door feels like a side door. Okay. And you've got shutters on this, which implies, I wouldn't say formality, but I think the shutters could be successful if 
the porch columns, the porch columns and the shutters feel kind of contradictory. And like, they're very simple. There's no base. There's no capital. I'm not saying it needs to be a Doric column or ionic column, but um, it needs, I think you need to have some trim there to kind of match the shutters. And I think the front door should probably be more, more beefed up trim, like a wider side casing and like some of the historic little Quaker houses in town or out west of town. Um, and I think the door should probably be like a six panel door, like an all wood door and let that front, if there's any way to get rid of that single column that bisects this thing, I think that would be a huge help. Even if you, so those are, those are details. Um, I think, given that that's the only thing we're looking at it you have an opportunity to make it kind of a cute little formal facade pre um, presenting to this presented to the street and then let the rest of it kind of turn into this rambling farmhouse that's i don't have a problem with anything else i agree with val that it would be nice if that central gable you had a steeper pitch, even if it broke it by six or eight inches, then you'd start to read the this gable more than the cross. And maybe that's just the perspective of it. But how far back is that other ridge? So ten feet. Hmm. So you are going to read the gable's going to read more. Oh yeah, yeah. It's back pretty far. So the gable, you are going to read that that gable mass that the roof plane in the back is back quite a bit. So I just think you have to work on some trim details on the front, on the north elevation. Those are... Tommy, you've got something you would like? No, I, I was just going to say too, that was the one thing that struck me um, is that one single post in the front. It kind of just looks a little and not out of place, but if it could be somehow mitigated and yeah to make the front door more like a formal not formal but you know more of a front door the uh abby are you there yeah um and, and i want you to know i have a spare tire on my car now just <laughs> oh dear but uh uh there was a nail in it by the way oh. um so going back to the the front of the house, give it a little more presence. I was wondering if you could wrap that porch around the corner with a hip roof or something. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe there's a, maybe you just put one shuttered window up in the in the uh, gable there. Uh, I agree that that it would look a little more historic if it, if it had a steeper pitch. Um, I'd like to see that front door centered if possible. And, you know, just a little more symmetry. I mean, it could be adorable, um, but this is like somebody said, this is what we're gonna see. So this is the most important um, elevation. So um, I would, I would, uh, I would hold for revisions, but um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, my view is the north is is the front of the house i i think looking at it and the placement is the biggest house on there and i think it should have a statement saying this is my front door because it sort of wanders around the corner so i think you've got to say i'm the front um it's it is and that's sort of the smallest part. I know it goes into the tightest thing, but uh, I don't know. I, as everybody has said, it needs more prominence as being the head of the, the center of the, of the building, really. I appreciate the height, staying at the height. And uh, everybody has said this too that post has got to go come up with some other way, some other kind of uh, covering for it, 
I don't know what, but I, I would like to see something else there. So do we have, shall we hold for revisions? Or? Yeah, but just to make it yeah. minor, I mean, the bulk of it is great. Yeah. But I'd like to see what he, yeah. I would like to see what he came up with. So that's why I, I was suggesting hold for revisions, but it's up to you what you want. Yeah, I think, I think we should hold for minor revisions. And I also would encourage the applicant that if you wanted to show an option or yeah. two, that that would be helpful. Um, so I would motion for to hold for minor revisions. Okay, thank you. Um, Connie. Aye. Aye. Val. Aye. Abby. Aye. Aye. And I'm an aye and Joe aye. on your motion. Aye. Aye. Oh. All right. Would two, now, revision, like two options or three options, like what's best for you guys? Whatever comes up just in your okay in your Make imagination. Break. I've done two or three. Okay. We're only talking about the north elevation, so I don't yep. think it'll be overwhelming to review okay. a and few. There's no, nothing in the pool. And so now, where do you stuff do, the pool? Pool is oh. next. Sorry. Don't go. <laughs> um, forgot about the pool. Yeah, so I got a shed and, and a pool. Uh, I don't think neither will be visible from the road. Well, What's I'll behind this? Is that it's kind of, uh, it's just Wellens? Okay, I, I Jesse think Dutra lives behind Jesse, me. Jesse lives right yeah. beside them. I think yeah, as part of the taxes. development that is non a non disturbed, it's the green space because it's a cluster yeah. subdivision. So. so there's a house. 15 is above it and uh, 15, uh, 15 is above and 11 is below. There's a house right on each side of it. Should have probably drew that in. Um, I would just say, are we looking at the pool right now? Yeah. Uh, to just give us some photos perhaps of the materials because it's very basic and we don't really see what we're approving. Okay like the stone and coping and if there's any other hardscape just all blue stone yeah but there's a million kinds <laughs> so we generally ask for that okay auto cover uh, abby so hardscaping um did you ever think of putting a gate that would sort of mitigate any possible view from the driveway or the road um just a like a, a picket fence on either side of the house or privet or something to uh definitely um you know obscure the, any any visual from the the pool each neighboring house there's privet that runs along each the entire side of each um on each side of it it's like six to eight feet well i think to abby's point actually if you had a picket fence to the right and a gate or arbor or something on the left leading to the backyard okay when you do your front elevations showing those in context yeah. i think you have an opportunity to have that sure. help the presence that we're looking to achieve and it would screen the visibility of the pool potentially i mean yeah yeah we're that's probably going to be looking would... through yeah. five cars and landscape from the road anyway what about what kind of and some photos what kind of fence are you what, what do you need the photos of just the blue just the type of bluestone is that what you mean the photos of the materials but also photos of the site would be helpful okay. all right and the house is on either side of it i mean okay. it's for yeah. context what about the the, what are you using for fencing over the pool? Are you having an automatic cover or uh, auto cover? Oh, okay, so you want to uh, pool equipment would be in the shed. We uh, we'll do the shed next. We have at the to... very back end of the house. Oh, so it's not going to be in the shed. Bottom right corner. So, uh, do we have a motion for approving or? Holding or whatever the pool. 
I'll make a motion to hold for uh, minor revisions. Um, okay. And more information. Maybe, yeah, and, and material information. Um, and and perhaps a, a picket fence or a, or a gate or something to obscure that shot of the pool. All right. So it's basically we're hold for a minor revisions. Yeah. And more information. And more information. <laughs> That's it. Yes. So okay. I, yeah. All of it's approvable. We just need Aye. more information. Joe. Aye. Abby. Aye. Motion. Val. Aye. And I'm an aye also. So now we have the pool of the, I mean the shed. shed. I would motion to approve the shed. Yeah. Okay. Anybody got a, any statement about the shed or to take uh, Val's motion to approve? Just how tall is it? That's not on the plan. Uh, Motion to approve yeah. with the application reflecting the height. Yes. You can't read these. The scan is terrible. Yeah, yeah and I don't see it on the application. It's really just to make sure it's not a 40 foot tall fence. I mean, shed. 13 feet. That's fine. Yeah. So that's the, uh, that's Val's motion. Aye. 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 Uh, Abby? Aye. Sorry. Who will? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very exactly. much. Those photos, I think, will help with the front elevation. Too, yeah. Yeah. Just to see the neighboring houses yeah. that Val mentioned. Madam Chair, I don't yes. know if you want to have a break. I'm told that pizza's here. Oh, I didn't okay. think we were getting it today. Huh? Wow. Okay. Is Lisa here anyway? Is she coming? Um, Madam Chair, I was told she was traveling today. She would try to make it, but no guarantees. Okay. Well, we'll have a break for a few minutes. It's 5.43. What time do we want to come back to? 6.30. <laughs> <laughs> I make that motion though. There's other snacks up there too. I didn't know we were getting pizza, so. Thank you. Yeah, give us, give the 10 minutes. Can they still see us? Coming back at 5.55. All right, guys.
Back in the saddle. Back in black. <laughs> There we are. What are we up to, down to? Well, Ethan's here. Is anybody online? No. Nope. I didn't see anything with Terry on it. Is there a picture? Oh. What? Where'd she find it? I will. Who is JN Design? John Newman or Josiah Newman? I haven't seen David Barch for a long, long, long time. I don't know. I, I call it Tawadi, but, but nobody, I haven't heard anyone else say it, so it's I don't know. Tawadi. Let's say Tawadi. Yeah. Yeah. Tawadi. Tawadi. It makes sense. The developer who put all those in yeah. and all the houses look exactly like the ones out in the Moby Dick area or Cisco ish line up, you know, all yes. the, it's like the same. Correct. What about Rabbit Run? That was done. Oh, okay. He didn't have enough for So, just to clarify though, I got four here and then. Abby, is that if she's Abby's there? Abby, you're with us, right? Yes. Okay. I, I still want to start with four. <clears throat> what about Permits Trust? Who's doing that today? <laughs> Nobody said for 19. And that was all Matt. Ethan's here. So we begin. Okay. Uh, Ethan Griffin. What are you starting with? Uh, I don't know. It would make some more sense to do the demo. That's the demo? Correct. So this is a proposed demolition to an existing cottage at 6 Tawadi. Um, as Val mentioned, this is uh, a common cottage in these sort of small clustery subdivisions. Um, we initially started this as a renovation potentially, um, but there are a couple of factors that just make it not super viable. One being that they position these on the lot in kind of a funky fashion. So it's over the setbacks on at least two sides. And so it's pre-existing non-conforming, makes it a little more complicated. Um, and the other is that, you know, this is all two by four framing, um, not done to exceptional level of quality when it was initially produced. Um, and at the end of the day, there really wasn't anything left. Um, so we are proposing to, to remove the cottage, demolish, remove off. I don't know the viability of moving something like this, the way it's sort of pieced together. You can see in the floor plans we provided, it's going to be a trickier move. So I, I think realistically, it's unfortunately just it for demolition, probably with some, maybe some architectural salvage, if at all possible. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, from the owner's perspective, they love it if people could take what they could use again, but it's, you know, windows are in rough shape. Everything's kind of, an, it's just an aging old style cottage that hasn't really been updated in a while. Nineteen eighty one. Madam Chair, just that um, I concur with the, the age of 1981. It is in Sconset, but it's outside the SOHD. I will motion to approve a, a demo slash move off and or salvage if possible. Madam okay. Chair, through does, you, does, does anybody the... like to say something else? Bonnie? I'm good with that. Joe? I'm good with that, but Holly was in the middle. Of oh, I'm sorry. Thank Holly. you. No, that's okay. I just wanted to make sure since we have it on the agenda as a demo, does the application say demo move? It has demo in black 
filled in and then an X through move building. So I just want to make sure that's clear that, that you specifically asked in your in your motion for a demo move. Yes. I'll write they'll it have on to advertise too. anyway. So yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Have have you sort of approached anybody who might be interested? Not yet. Um or usually, you know, we'll reach out to the different housing groups. I, again, just from my experience of working with the housing groups, I think this is going to be a tricky structure for them to take. Um but we'll uh, we'll certainly advertise it and go through our typical channels to see if anybody wants it. But it seems like architectural salvage is where everything's kind of going these days. The building code is making the SP part of it crazy if you come off this thing now. So nobody wants any houses. Oh. Yeah, anything over a thousand square feet is. So they want us to build more houses. Bigger. No, no. Abby, do you have anything to say? Nothing to add. Okay, so we're going to, okay. Uh, you made the motion, right? Yes, move off demo. So we have a move off demo. Connie? Aye. Joe? Aye. Abby? Aye. Val? Aye. Me, I'm an I. That is all approved. And thank you for doing as built. That's awesome. Our pleasure. Yes. So now we have the next. So one. the then this is for a new building. Um, I guess the easiest place would be to start with the site plan. Um, we did an overview of the entire kind of complex, didn't quite get the cul-de-sac onto this part, but you can kind of get a gist of how the arrangement of the current structures are um, on the, uh, just kind of as, as designed in the original subdivision. Um, so we did want to be sympathetic to A, that original kind of layout and streetscape, and then B, you know, essentially keep this as a one-story mass, um, but creating some second floor space through dormers. Um, it's 23 feet as proposed from grade to ridge. Um, so this is a site plan. You can see how there's this sort of like kind of wavy pattern between the structures. So this structure was one of the closer structures to Tawadi. So we are maintaining that, although rotating so it conforms with all the setbacks. Um, uh, but again, sort of preserving that kind of informal kind of funky streetscape. Uh, there's also a little sort of 3D model in the corner there. I don't know, you might have to zoom in on the screen, but again, we wanted to look at this as it related to the other structures in terms of the massing. Again, this is, you know, contemporary structure. It's got slightly different standards for framing dimensions, things like that. But, you know, the intent is to keep that, you know, that primary eave as low as possible and then get second floor with the with dormers. Can I ask a question while we're on the site plan? Sure. Just so we don't have to navigate back to it. So everybody on your side of the street, or I should put it this way, nobody actually accesses their properties off of Tawadi. Correct, which is, it's very odd. Yeah. Uh, and, and to that point, this house, like the front door just faced north, like the side yard. So over time, people have sort of adapted some of these to kind of create a more traditional kind of pedestrian entry. When people, when guests come, they usually park, you know, on Tawadi, but it's, it's kind of an right. odd. So that area. upper right, faces to Wadi, that will but, now face to Wadi with the front door but, and this bottom right actually faces the way what you'd call the front uh well that's where you park that's where you park which that's what we call park. the back the owners would like to have a front door on to Wadi for you know guests and things but the sort of family entrance if you will is on the rear which is the the west side okay um, so this is the proposed structure. Um, again, we're achieving, you know, really usable second floor space through dormers. Um, it's 23 feet again to the ridge. It's got a little bit more of kind of a, a shingle kind of coastal kind of bungalow style to it. Uh, we exposed rafter tails. The trim color is gray. The sash uh, color is white. Uh, and the roof, I believe, is gray. Correct. Um, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Huh. All righty. Um, Joe, would you like to begin? Sure. Um, I like this house. Uh, uh, I know that's not a criteria or basis for approval, <laughs> but um, 
And I, I think I like it's it feels like uh Sconset. Um it feels like some of the older, more modest cottages in Sconset, and there's some of a few structures in Grant Point that this reminds me of. Um, I wanted to get a handle on the front and back situation because the elevation facing Tawadi isn't the most pleasing. I, I mean, I, I like it, but I like the the west elevation towards the way I think is a, really attractive. But just seeing how all of the other houses really orient towards the way and turn their back on Tawadi, it seems like this is in keeping with that. Um, I mean, your shed dormers are a little quirky, but I actually feel like they work. They help to break it up. Um, it gives you some variation in fenestration. And uh, you've got some ganged windows on the sides, but I don't think the side elevations are particularly visible. Or even so, I think the ganged windows, you've got a nice rhythm of ganged windows and independent windows um i mean the chimney's a little peculiar in a i would say in a good way maybe it's got a little bit of a steep um angle to it but i don't know i i i really like the house ethan i think it's i think it's appropriate i i really don't have any um design comments beyond beyond what i just said okay abby i th i think it's charming i think it fits right into twatty village and and it is sconsity and uh and i i think it's a really good design so you got my vote all righty val yeah, I agree. I was just looking up to see what the chimney was. Cobblestone. cobblestone. <clears throat> I have nothing else. There's only one thing that I wondered about on the south side. The second floor windows are split great. The windows underneath them are different amounts of space between the small window and the and the little side window. Is that because you need to do that on the inside or can you even it up? I'm sorry, I, I wasn't kind of clear. On the south side. South side, yep. second floor, dormers. Yep. yep. Okay. Oh, why they're split? Uh we could we could sort of spread them so they fill the dormer a little bit more. Is that Kind of no, they're, they're, they're split enough, but I, on the first floor, on the right-hand side of the right-hand dormer, the window is directly under under it. Yes. First floor is mm, directly I under see what you mean. On the other side, on the left side, the first floor window is sort of casually there. Could it go? So yeah, we, we could kick that. So would, what about if we kick that left? window yeah. over yeah so it aligns right so it's symmetrical symmetrical yeah so it's correct symmetrical yep. with the other one i think it, it, yeah it looks actually that, i agree that's sort of a funky actually i think it makes your kitchen work better too yeah i, I, think, <laughs> not I don't know that, how that window wound up there not that, that matters, got it. but so that is what i would suggest okay yeah that's what i would suggest so if nobody has anything else to say do they uh what, I have a motion. I had one comment on the chimney. It I does seem that. to be a little tall, mm -hmm. especially when you're looking at it from the gable end. Um, I guess that would be the more for the from the west elevations, not necessarily seen from the west and east. The east. West. But yeah, that that just seems to very be really high. So I don't know if you all want to on your um, approval mention about whatever the minimum building code requirement is, but. That does just seem over overly tall. Thank you. I think it's exacerbated by the the, the owl on the top. No, no, the little 
what do you call those? That's yeah, it's called. Cool. Cool. I kind of, I kind of think it's, it's, it's sort of uh, the, the, the oddity of the chimney sort of goes with the little bit of the oddity of the style. Um, I, 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 I'm okay with it, especially on, you know, on the sides, it reads, you know, a, you know, proportionally correct. It's mm -hmm. just on that, um, you know, it just seems a little high on the end, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay, so um, will you have a motion? Motion to approve with the south first floor window on the left to align and be symmetrical as it is on the right. <laughs> okay. Did I say that right? Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. The um, Connie. Hi. So, aye. Abby, aye. Val, on your motion, aye. And that's through staff. Through staff, too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, what do we got left now? Matt's here. Oh, there were people here for the Matt's one on Highland. They left. Which one? Some of the neighbors. <laughs> Because we said he wasn't going to be here. Who we got left? Thanks. So, Matt, there were people here for two for the Highland. Yeah. And they left because we were told you weren't coming. Um, we, if you feel comfortable, I you can hold that. I apologize. I had a conflicting. Um, thing for the Boys and Girls Club. So I'm happy to push that off until next week so that they can be here and voice their so support or opposition. That one I, he's saying we can hold that one. Yeah. That oh, was that, the only but, one. But yeah. then what do you want to do? Uh, you know, I mean, I, we said to put a, mine at the end of the agenda just so that I could be late. Um, so I'll take whatever ones you're willing to hear tonight. You can have Maple Lane. Yeah, that'd be great. New Shed. You can have. There's a new dwelling. We're not doing 12 Coffin Street, right? Uh, no, we're going to uh, withdraw that, actually. And are we doing, we're not doing Two Stone Alley? No, because that's, oh, no, it is you. We could do, um, we could, actually, you know, we did get some comments. I don't know that we have enough. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, and also, I think we, I wanted to hold for comments from uh, the former Historic Structures yeah, Advisory right. Board. They had some suggestions, so we wanted to integrate those and then resubmit. I wrote it. Well, let's do get Maple Lane out of the way. Sure. Um, old business we did, it's all been held, so there you are. Okay. So wait, what are we doing, Maple? I think just Maple. And I appreciate you putting me at the end of the agenda. August meeting. And that's it? Not I think that's it. I think the rest of them. Um, oh, yeah. Stone Alley you should hold. Yeah. I don't think we have enough people to do it anyway. Yeah. And that one's not controversial yeah. at all. So that's a joke. Okay. Maple. Okay. Um, so are you chairing Val or who's chairing? Diane. Diane. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so this is uh, a house that you've approved. Uh, the house and garage have been approved. And so this is a small guest house. It's a one story. You can see where it sits on the site plan. It's uh, parallel to the main house. It's set back from the road. The uh, It's at the end of the cul-de-sac. So these lots are shaped oddly. So the house sits back pretty far from uh, the cul-de-sac, but we um, try to keep it small, match all the details that are found in the house, uh, window types, uh, color schemes, and, and rake details. So with that, look forward to comments from the board, Madam Chair. Thank you. Well, it looks like a pool house, not really a guest house. It um, it has two bedrooms, and so it's technically a, a dwelling. 
but it does look like a pool house. The idea is that it functions as essentially the pool house of sorts. So it has the half bath and, but it does have a, a kitchenette, but it does fit the definition of a, a dwelling because it do, does have two bedrooms in it. I appreciate the height and the size. I just want, can you see all those doors from the street or? I think it would be pretty hard to see it because pretty much all those properties are gonna have at least like a five foot privet hedge. And I think the angle of it, um, if you look at where the visibility may be from the cul-de-sac. So um, it's certainly possible to see it, but I don't, the only concentration of doors is just that center gable. So I think the visibility will be minimal. It's certainly possible that you might see it. I think because it is a one story and there probably will be like, you know, at least a five foot privet, I think it'll be fairly minimal. But even if you did see it, I don't think it's horrible. No, it, it just doesn't fit the traditional, if you're calling it a dwelling, we'd want a front door and all that. Right, gotcha. I think um, it's dwelling just by definition of the bedrooms. Okay. I don't have anything other than that. Um, Joe, do you have anything? Nothing. I I think it's I think it's fine. I think it will read as a pool a pool house. Um, and it, I think that's fine. Um, and I understand why you're calling it a dwelling. I mean, probably the doors bother me less than the gable wall that has no fenestration. But <laughs> I'm assuming that. that there's going to be lattice there and you've it's it's screened from the street so you could, no add, need. You could add a window if it felt I, I just noticed that myself so i don't see why we couldn't i mean it would be nice if you had a one of those a windows in that gable, gable end but yeah. happy to do that other than that i, I like val said that it's less than 18 feet tall that's I like it. Tony, do you have any chat? No, nothing else. And Abby, do you have anything? Yeah, I like the idea of putting a, a window in the in the gables on the sides. I think that's nice. Mm -hmm. But uh, nothing else. How does anybody think of that? I'd motion to approve as submitted with a a window in each of the gable ends of the east and west elevations. North elevation, okay. Um, so, Connie. Aye. And Abby. Uh, I I was just thinking I don't so now that we know their bedrooms I don't know if you might want one of the smaller ones um you know you have it in that other gable see how they're smaller oh I don't hi. Know. Or two. E either one works for us okay great I okay um um The L. I. So and I have that an I. So that is all of us. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. And does that take care of you? No, he's got a shed. Oh, that There's was, that was no on shed. Sorry. How come the shed has a little flare at the bottom? Um does that look the cottage didn't? You're right. Um we probably should put the flare on the guest cottage because there is a flare on the main house. So I think. Can we, how do we do that? What Add do that do? to the application that went and then under the description. What's he, what's he suggest we do? Oh, through the chair. Yeah, can we, we open it back up? Again? Can we reopen this last application before we move forward? Yep. And just add that. Add the flare to yeah. match the house in the shed. Yes. Aye. 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 Thank you. Abby. Aye. Okay. So we're adding the flare to the, the guest house. Guest house, pool house, pool house yeah. whatever. 
A motion to approve the shed as submitted. And it's got glass glass, so it's already. Connie. Aye. Joe. Aye. Abby. Aye. Val. Aye. And I'm an aye. So now what were we doing for Carrie? No, she's she's all set. Thank they you. were they were on consent. You don't want to do any okay. Twelve coffin or okay, so so is that anybody else here? Um, nope. You have Harry still in the queue, and that's it. What's up? Oh, oh, just as chickens. Wow. Any uh, questions? Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Aye. Uh, <laughs> Aye. Um, did so. So I did want to bring up something about you know the Sparks Avenue thing. Where no, we can't. Abby, we can't. Abby, we can't. Oh, you just motion to adjourn, and that's not on the agenda. <laughs> okay. Email us. Okay. <clears throat> I yes. missed that. Good night. Wow. Night, everybody. Did did we make did we did I miss a motion to adjourn? Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm in favor of that. <laughs>